Hey guys, back again for another tutorial. This one is for click movement for 2D. What I'm looking at doing here is pretty straightforward where you take the mouse cursor and click anywhere on the screen inside your game and be able to move positions. It's a pretty interesting little thing to do. So to begin, let's take a look up here the initial start setting, I am going to use an update and a once. Now this once is going to go set my click position. This click position is going to be used over here and instead of creating a variable here, I just want it to go ahead and create one for me and just set it to my current position. I don't need to go up here and create one if I can set it right here. And then next we're going to skip this part for now. We're going to come over here to the part that is a as the actual clicking. Right here we have on mouse input. So when I click somewhere down here in my game, you can see that it clicks and it moves. So this is the trigger on how we start this whole process. Now what that click does is we're going to get our mouse position so wherever we are on the screen, and you have to remember this is screen position for this. It is not the world position, it's the screen position. You're dealing in XY only. There is no Z, it's just XY, and it's in an arbitrary space. Next, we come down to this add inputs. Now the add inputs, this one for the add, we have to add 10 to our camera height. Because right now, this is only XY. And we need to match our camera position. Because that is negative 10, we want to add 10 to it to make sure that our click location comes out correctly. Right now, if I click and it's set to 10, it's going to give me the correct location. If I were to set that to 0, and I click, it's going to take me back to, uh, it looks like zero, 01, and it won't let me move again. Now, if I take it to negative 10, it's going to do the opposite of what I wanted to do. It's because of the height of the camera. You have to make sure that it matches your world position once it comes from the screen position. So it's 10. All right, so now that we have that, we come in, we've got our world position, our click position. This is where we're sending it off down to here to be used in the player movement calculation. The player movement calculation is done by getting your position, and then we're going to move this click position is where we're going. That's We're taking this and we're moving toward this. And to do that, we're using the move toward, and then we're setting the position. Down here, we have the delta time, and that's to smooth the whole process. You want This is the frame rate, and once we do that, we're going to multiply it by 10. And this is kind of like your adjustment for your speed. So 10 gives us this pretty nice smooth movement. If we could take it to 20, it'll double the speed. You see it increases speed, and if we take it down to 2, it'll be nice and slow. So that's about all there is to it. It's very, very simple, straightforward. Um, you can think of a lot of things to do with this type of setup. So if you wanted to create like a grid type game or something, and you only wanted it to land exactly on those points or something like that, it would just be a matter of doing round. Um, you could just do a round, the uh, vector two, and we can take this click position, and we're gonna say, all right, we just wanna move to this position. Now, you see that we're always set to our nice rounded number. So it's, it's stuff like that where you can think, man, I, I can take this a lot further and do a lot more with it. So, all right, great deal. You guys have a good one. We'll see you.